Hello and welcome to this pipettesupplies.com edition of how to calibrate a reigning classic single channel pipette. This video is also applicable for the Gilson Pipette Man Classic, the Gilson Pipette Man G, the Gilson Pipette Man Neo, and the reigning classic pipette you see in this video. Warning. The calibration adjustment process should always be the last option, never the first, second, or third choice, always the last option. Why? Inside the white shaft, as you see here, there are vital internal components, such as, but not limited to, the seal, the o-ring, the piston, the shaft, springs, seal retainers, lubricant, and externally the pipette tip that goes on to the shaft. These four components, seal, o-ring, shaft, and piston account for roughly 95% of all pipette performance issues. What that means if you're experiencing a pipette performance issue, simply cleaning, inspection, replacement, of the seal, o-ring, shaft, or piston as needed should resolve 95% of all pipette performance issues. Failure to perform an inspection, preventative maintenance, and replacement of these parts inside the white shaft could significantly shorten the life expectancy of a pipette. On top of that, if the calibration adjustment process is made without a thorough inspection, preventative maintenance, and replacement of these parts as needed will potentially mask hidden issues that could lead to bigger performance concerns down the road. So it's very important that these components inside the white shaft are inspected, cleaned, serviced, and or replaced as needed to avoid uh, masking hidden performance issues. Section two, how to perform the calibration adjustment process. As you can see on the screen here, we have the reigning classic, the Gilson Pipette Man classic, the Pipette Man G, and the Pipette Man Neo and of course the reigning classic calibration tool. I'm going to rotate it so you can actually can see the very small teeth that appear on this tool. Those teeth or five pins that you see are what will go into the calibration screw on the pipette itself in order to perform the calibration adjustment. This tool can be purchased from pipettesupplies.com catalog number 27777. Once again, two, seven, 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 seven. That's a two followed by four sevens. It can be ordered on our pipettesupplies.com webpage, or you can contact Pipette Supplies at 817-483-9883. 817-483-9883. So the next step is I want to show you the actual calibration screw itself. So <clears throat> inside on the top of this pipette, once I can get it aligned with the light, there we go. You'll see that there's two outer holes on the black portion of the pipette. These outer ones are not. These inner ones you'll see right in here, the five circular inner holes, that is where the calibration tool will be embedded into in order to perform a calibration adjustment. So these little teeth that you see here will go in to the calibration screw and I'll just rotate this until it clicks into place as it did there. So now you can see that the tool is fully embedded into the calibration screw. Now, if I want to increase 
the amount of volume aspirated and dispensed, I would turn this tool counterclockwise, incrementally in about an eighth of a turn. Eighth of a turn, stop, check your, your volume on a four or five place balance to see if the desired volume is achieved. If my volume is high and I need to decrease the amount of volume aspirated and dispensed, I would rotate this calibration tool clockwise incrementally in order to decrease the amount of volume aspirated and dispensed. It's very important to avoid major adjustment swings like this. If I turn the tool like this, that's considered a major adjustment and that will lead to potentially major swings in the amount of volume aspirated and dispensed. So you should make very subtle turns, one eighth of a turn or less in order to um, achieve the desired volume that's aspirated and dispensed. Once you made an adjustment, then go to the balance, remove the tool, and then verify that the volume is achieved that you want. If not, repeat this process until the desired volume that is aspirated and dispensed meet your expectations. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free and contact us at pipettesupplies.com or call us at 817-483-9883. I truly hope you find this video helpful and have a great day. Thank you for your time.